This is a short video review on the Candy Toy Go Busters mechs. This is how it's three separate kits. This is how they came. Got Rabbit, Gorilla, and Ace. I have put the stickers on, but for the rest, this is how they came to be in the package. So you can see some of them are already assembled in some ways and they have some paint don't have the light out here up close um, but it's got some red and silver paint on it the head had silver and gold on it curious mixture of painted bits and stuff that needed to be stickered <clears throat> but they are candy toys for kids so I assume that's why some of it was left unstickered. It's pretty simple and apparent. I did own the DX toys for a short little while and then decided to sell them. I have since regretted that decision and I have DX Ace on the way from my favorite online store, Mandarake. I do not have Gorilla and Rabbit on the way yet. Um, but I will get them again eventually. I'm really looking forward to Stag and Beetle, even though I am not cut up on the show at all. From what I've seen of the toys, they look like they will be really great. Um, this set cost me, I do not even remember, $12, $16, maybe $20 on eBay. Um, like I said, all three came together. Um, it's a pretty simple kit. There's not a lot to it. I don't remember what the rabbit's supposed to look like. Um, I also have the mini pla kits, but I have not done more than put together one of Ace's kits. The stickers are not <coughs> very sticky, as you can proud maybe see. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can maybe see on these ears, the little yellow tips are just popping off very easily. I will probably use a paint marker on that in the future to finish that end up and make it actually look good. These little ear pieces are really hard to get into this little head. But I thought the silver looked nice anyway on the ears. So. Let's see, what is it supposed to look like? This clip's on here. Clearly I am no Vangelis or TJ Omega, but I thought since I have a magic phone I would try this video review thing out for the fun of it. I much prefer scripted videos such as TJ Omega's and Evangelis's, but I am not nearly dedicated enough to do such a thing myself. Okay, I'm not able to get that on. Cheap little kit, but it'll probably be kind of fun to play with. There, rabbit. Let's see the gorilla. It goes on to that little square piece right there. I'm completely blocking the light. Don't know of a better way to do the lighting here. This is the left side, or the right side rather. A lot of the pieces have a molded R or L on them to let you know which side of the figure they are. That's nice. How does this go? These kits form the rabbit, the gorilla, and Ace's robot modes, and they can also disassemble and recombine to form GoBuster O. Um, I 
I know a lot of people don't like the way Gobustero looks. I haven't even gotten to the point in the show where they form Gobustero, but from what I've seen of the pictures, I don't have a problem with it. It looks fine to me. All right, I ran out of storage, so you don't get to see me finish assembling them. I just clicked them together. So you've got Ace, Gorilla, and Rabbit. Rabbit has no point function, no posability, but then the DX one didn't either. Gorilla also does not have any. The DX doesn't have any posability. This one is forearms move a little bit. You can pop off his wheel dealies. Plus his feet move a little bit, or his hands, I guess. I think the DX one might have done that a little bit. Ace has a bit more posability. He's got ball-jointed ankles. He has knees. He has ball hips. These skirt things are on hinges so they can get out of the way, so you can move his hips up a bit. They do not move on the back, so you can't move his legs back too far, but it's got a lot of clearance. He has ball-jointed wrists, and they also can fold in. He has elbows, his shoulders hinge out, as well as this one being on a ball. And his head is on a ball with a limited range of motion. But he's a decently poseable little guy. Um, and he has a sword. And swords are always awesome. So that's the mechs in their solo mode. They have a name for it, I don't know. Oh, he also has some torso articulation. And there's that. And then to combine them into GoBuster O, we get to disassemble them again into all sorts of little pieces. Let's see if I can do that very quickly before I run out of battery. Alright, here is Candy Toy GoBuster O assembled. He, eh, he looks alright to me. It's not the greatest mech design, but... There he is. I had meant to to show as far as I've gotten with the the mini plot kits. This is the top half of Ace. You can see the scale is much much larger. Um, I'm guessing Gobuster will be about that tall here. And of course the DX are significantly larger. But this one's all right. It's got uh, ball jointed ankles. Not with some pretty decent inward range, not too much forward and back, but a little bit. Same knees from Ace and hips from Ace. Uh, same shoulders from Ace. Still has a little bit of a bicep swivel, but the rabbit foot kind of interferes with that. His new elbow joints. And he's got an rabbit bits on his sword, which looks cool to me. Rabbit ears as a shield or pokey thing. I don't know. Again, I haven't seen... Go Buster O appear yet in the show. I'm only on episode six or seven or something. I'm watching too many shows at the same time. And it's not bad, considering I paid somewhere between twelve and twenty dollars and I don't remember. I'm not gonna bother to look. It looks alright. I'm happy enough with it. Um I'm sure I will like the mini plot a little bit more once I finish that one. I'm going to be working on that. Let me try and working on it this week since I finally got Gorilla and the Rabbit Kits earlier this week. But there that is. Thank you for watching.